Many of us don't know what we want to do in life or what our purpose is. What is it that would make you look forward to Monday mornings and want to jump out of bed? What is it that we want to pour our heart and soul into? And if we don't know, how can we find out? The Japanese have a phrase, ikigai, which translates as reason for being. And in this video, we explore how you can work out your own ikigai. Hi, I'm Sam, and I explore systems we can use to achieve more than we ever realized was possible. This video is split into six chapters. Firstly, I explore what ikigai is, and then the five steps you need to follow to find out what your own ikigai is. A few years ago, I watched a documentary film called Jiro Dreams of Sushi. And it's all about an 85 year old Japanese man who runs his own sushi restaurant in a subway station in Tokyo something that he'd been doing since he was 10 years old. While most 85 year olds would have retired decades earlier, Jiro is dedicated to making the best sushi in the world. He says in the film, I've never once hated this job. I fell in love with my work and gave my life to it. Even though I'm 85 years old, I don't feel like retiring. Jiro has clearly found his ikigai, but what does that mean? The creation of Ikigai can be attributed to the collective wisdom of Japanese thinkers. While the exact origin is not pinpointed to a single individual, it emerged over centuries as a response to life's complexities. The term Ikigai is often attributed to Okinawa, which is a region in Japan where they really value longevity and the pursuit of a meaningful life. Ikigai has been an integral part of Japanese culture for centuries, shaping the way individuals approach their existence. At its core, Ikigai stands testament to the Japanese philosophy of finding purpose and joy in the intricate dance of life. First element of Ikigai is finding what you love. This is all about finding things that bring you joy and fulfillment. It's about identifying your passions and understanding what makes your heart race and your spirit soar. When you engage in what you love, you tap into a source of intrinsic motivation, creating a strong foundation for a purposeful life. Take a moment to reflect on the activities that bring you joy. It could be hobbies, interests, or creative pursuits. These activities might be things that make you lose track of time. Think about what you loved doing as a child. Consider your hobbies and your leisure activities. Think about what brings you joy outside of work. You'll then move on to step number two, which is finding out what you're good at. So this element focuses on your strengths, your skills and your abilities. It's about recognizing what it is that you excel at. So think about your unique talents and capabilities. What are the skills that come naturally to you? This might be technical or soft skills, such as conversation or listening. You can also think about your education, your qualifications. Identify areas where you consistently do well. This is one where it might be useful to speak to your friends or your colleagues and get their opinion. And if you start noticing patterns in the things that people are telling you, write them down. So we've looked at what you love and what you're good at. Now let's move on to what the world actually needs. This is about identifying the needs of the world around you and finding ways to contribute positively. It's about discovering a sense of purpose that goes beyond personal fulfillment and instead looks at how you can impact on others and the world. Think about the problems and challenges in your local community or even globally. How can your passions and your skills be harnessed to help address some of those issues? Focus on the ones that really resonate with you. Having passion is incredibly important and having these skills is important, but also you need to ensure that you can sustain yourself financially. This is thinking about how your passions and skills can meet a need in the market. You could explore current and future market trends and you could identify professions that align with your skills and your purpose. The key thing is identifying industries where your skills will be valuable. Now that you've done that, the power of the Ikigai process is finding those overlapping areas. You'll want to start looking at your lists of what you're good at and what you love, what you can be paid for and what the world needs and identifying crossovers. At the intersection of what you are good at and what you love, you'll find your passion. In between what you love and what the world needs is your mission. In between what you're good at and what you can be paid for, is your profession. At the crossover between what the world needs and what you can be paid for is your vocation. So you've got your passion, your mission, your profession, and your vocation. And in the middle of all of that, 
you've got your ikigai. Finally, combine the elements that you've discovered into a concise statement. Keep refining your statement as you gain more clarity and experience. You can then use this process to identify particular activities that you might want to try out and experiment with. Pay attention to how those activities make you feel and then iterate and refine your model based on those evaluations. The journey to finding your ikigai is ongoing and it's okay to adapt and evolve over time. Stay open to new experiences, embrace learning opportunities and continue refining your path based on what brings you most fulfillment and joy. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.